Good evening, good evening, good evening everybody. Welcome to my Thursday night stream. I hope everybody is well this fine warm warm Thursday. We are here on top of the auction house, actually in Stormwind, because we um, came back here to pick up some enchanting vellum earlier. So we're going to pop down and check the mail, see what kind of things have sold in the very busy, busy time. Ah, good evening speaker, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. How's your Thursday been? Hope all is good. Alright, we're going to have a look and see what we've got. And we've got quite a few expires, so let's deal with those first. We'll clear these out, see what we're left with. How much bag space have I got? We'll have a look in a minute. Um, still got a bit more bag space. Not sure how well these bear tartars are going to sell now. Um, we'll still try and shift them. We've got 542 left. So that's not too bad. Oh, fantastic. And then let's have a look at the next page. Let's do a reload. See if we can get something else coming through. Right, okay, so next lot, clear this down, close the bags off, and then let's have a look, okay, more expires, got some sales coming in, 5,000, let's go through all of those, labor queue ribs, everything else, uh, good, cooler than usual here, ah, oh, excellent, that's good to hear. It's been uh, pretty warm here, so uh, we're waiting for a thunderstorm. Uh, I think a nice thunderstorm tomorrow would be good. Uh, good evening to you, uh, Sensors. How are you? Thanks for stopping by. Um, looks like we've got... Let's do another reload and we'll get the last of those through. Looks like there's only 43 males left, so we'll go through, run through those, check on the gold total. Looks like it's mainly in chance at the moment. So I'll have a look at those. Okay, yep, it's enchants. 43 males. Enchants, enchants, enchants. A frost weave robe. Um, I actually sold some enchanting fellow. Didn't realise I was putting some of that on. That would explain it. I think this was during the time when I had um, the default uh, posting action on and I didn't realise I posted everything in my backpack, which is why that sold. There we go. Uh, good evening, Viper Curl Row. How are you? Thanks for stopping by. Just going through our mailbox opening at the moment. 35,000 bronze proto whelp there. 1,800. And then all the other mainly enchants. So let's open those up. Go through those. So 35,000. So in theory, to stay on target, we need another 30,000 gold. So I've got to think, okay, what can I do in the next two hours at least to be able to earn 30,000 gold even if I don't pick it up now if I've earned it for tomorrow then because what you're doing today is really also for for tomorrow's gold if that makes sense let's post everything on do a restock get everything on because enchants are doing well so let's carry on with those how did I manage to sell those um, I think it must be just the economy of my server. Um, it does seem to be rather sort of geared towards um, selling enchants at a decent price. Um, I don't know why exactly. Um, undercutting is key, although that said, I only really post once a day, so I'm not constantly um, cancel scanning, or sometimes I have done that in the past. At the moment I'm literally just putting it on for the day and then restocking as and when required. I guess when I restock, then that's going to be um, when I would undercut again. Oh, um, Mushy the Goblin, thank you very much uh, for the host. Very kind of you. How was your stream? I hope it all went well. So 
So looking through all of this, we've got uh, you left Shadow Song for being bad. <laughs> Guess it ended up in a worse place. It depends where you went to, uh, Viper Girl Row. Um, where did you go um, after Shadow Song? I don't like the look of that Immaculate Fibril price. 833. Why that should be on a of that price, someone's selling one for 182 gold there. Definitely need to take that one off. Let's just have a look at that first and foremost. Immaculate Fibril. I think I spelled that correctly. Or not. Immac. Too many M's. There we go. I want to Dark Sorrow. Ah, oh, okay. So there's just the one for 182 gold. I mean, the crafting cost is for me 758 gold, so I'm going to buy that because that's worth it for me in bloods. So I'm going to take that one. And good evening, Lizardwell, well, how are you? Um, not exactly, a lot of tweaking with the sounds. And the coughing never ended, but we muted the mic and just went on. Fair enough. That's a, that's a good start. Welcome to the world of streaming. Your sales are slowed a bit, finding it hard for consistent sales. The transmog have been picking up slightly to make up for it. Oh, that's good. Nice mix then. That's the thing, is having a good spread of things really helps. And good evening also, Mama Kinder and um, Axel. How are you both? So now we're going to pop that back on, do another auction post scan. And that immaculate fibril. I'll ignore these invalid prices for now. I'm not sure exactly which one of those is causing it to be invalid with my cooking. It could be something to do with... Because my 106% crafting is invalid. Have I not actually opened up cooking? Maybe that would help things. TSM might have to have a look at the profession first. That could be a thing. Now the Immaculate Fibril is going for 4,970, which is a bit more reasonable. I'm not seeing any of my auctioning min-max normal stuff here. Or like um, we had yesterday with the materials. Let's just run through and post these on. Uh, streams and Guides got you to 200,000 in two weeks. Excellent. Congratulations. That's a nice, that's a nice good chunk of money. Um, Asked many times, but asked a good and easy to understand guide for TSM. Um, there's a lot of them out there. Um, I've got a YouTube channel that has some TSM guides on it where I go through various aspects as I've learned on the way. Um, I'll put that in on uh, YouTube. So I have a playlist on there that goes through um, all the various things that I've learned in time. And I've got a playlist of TSM specific guides. They're both version three and four but the principles apply. There is also, if you go onto the WoW Economy Reddit, there is a, um, a sidebar that has a link to a whole load of guides there. Um, that's one of those. Um, hey Ken, how are you? And then also if you go onto the um, TSM website itself, they have a list of some guides there. Um, People like Hazelnutty Games and Bregvids both do some really good um, YouTube tutorials. Again, for TSM 3, but they're kind of useful also for um, the principles apply for TSM 4. Uh, maybe leave. Hey, uh, Midnight Hawk, how are you? Leave one of your alts by the entrance of Zolgarov and do Hive Queen Farm. It takes five minutes at most, ten runs um, would help boost the pot. Ah, yes, that's. Um, I've heard of that one before. Uh, where actually is Zolgarov out of interest? Is it... It's, is it the one that's up here in um, Ghostlands? Because I haven't been here since the update. I remember looking it up. Oh, is it Northern Strangleform? Okay, let's have a look. Um... Ah yes, there it is. I see it. Zolgarab. Down. There we go. Okay. Well, I'm over in uh, Booty Bay, so maybe that's something that Samadan could do and pop over there and have a look. Maybe we'll, we'll add that in a bit, a bit later. We're currently in Stormwind at the moment, just going through. Oh, I love that the, uh, the new stuff's on the map now. 
this is really nice. Although it's all explored, which is a bit of a shame. I would have liked that to be an unexplored. But I guess that isn't, is it? So when you go into them, then they're not explored. Okay, that makes sense. Okay. Stormwind is lagging a lot for you, is it? Okay. It's on your phone account with powers. Okay, yeah. Uh, Custer, that's good to know. Um, makes the most of your 10 run lockout. Okay. Well, maybe I could do that earlier. Well, let's let's uh, not get sidetracked first. Let's post the auctions on first. So, what were we doing? We we're looking at posting on our auctions. We did... We did post everything on, but these are all my cooking things are invalid because it doesn't know the crafting cost. So let's have a look. Just make sure my tooltips have got things on. So tooltip settings, value sources, crafting here, show material cost, list materials. We want that on. Uh, display auctioning values. We want that on. Market. We want all of those on don't want the shopping one on. So now looking at my tooltip, they've at least got the min-max normal, but we don't have anything to do with the crafting. So what I'm going to do is actually open up my cooking, see if that will help TSM work out about the crafting, and then try that again. And now we've got crafting cost. Okay, there we go. Uh, there we go. Um, let me check, check out. In my opinion, is it worth farming the recipe for Vial of the Sands? Um, yes. It's a consistent seller. Um, and I know some people have taken a long time to get it, but once you've got it, you can just keep ticking it through. Um, lagging as soon nearly uh, knocked you offline today. Oh no. Um, All, it doesn't know the ingredients. All ingredients is empty. Let's have a look. Um, so we've got a price here. Big Gamey Ribs, 181. Lay Blood, 181. Jalapeno Pepper, 181. That's unusual that they're all the same. So why would that be all the same? Let's see if we can see some other examples that cost um, something to make. I don't think I've got anything else here that I've made. I'll have to wait until I've done some more things. I will have a look and see if we can find out a consistent thing there. But that is weird, them all being 181. Um, very time consuming. You're on your second week trying to get it. Um, how's my gold going for the mount, Ken? Um, it's, uh, it's going okay at the moment. We were a little bit off target yesterday. TSM nibbled on vodka, <laughs> quite possibly. Um, but I think anything that's... Um, if it's got something that uh, takes a long time to get, then there's going to be very few people who get it, and that means your market margins are always going to be high. So I would say anything like that is definitely worth getting. So I would say go for it. If you've, got, if, you're, if you're not sure what else to do, it's always something you can add to your arsenal of things that you can sell. Good evening, Wave. Did I say hello to you already, Wave? But if I didn't, good evening to you. How are you? Right, we're going to look at this, and now that we've got a crafting cost for these, let's have a look and see if we can post them back on. Because the group was invalid earlier. Let's run a post scan. Okay, less are un invalid. The main problem we've got here is the muskin butter. Maybe we need to go over to Dalaran and have a look at that. And so we can post those on for a correct price. I uh, seen the mount on the beta. It looks very cool looking. Does it, Ken? Excellent. Um, I haven't seen it myself. Only um, screenshots on the video. So I'm really looking forward to actually seeing it in action. Um, hey, Dragon Enforcer. How are you? All right, we've got a whole load of stuff here. Um, some of it going to be useful. Some of it less so. Sorceress fire, wildfowl eggs, slice of bacon. A lot of this could probably end up going in the guild bank. Uh, the ember silk, I'm not sure if it's going to sell now. Uh, why wasn't that in my group? Of course, it would be an old one. Okay, let's try cloth, sell ember silk. 
let's just check the operation. So M silk times 200. Uh, 48 hours. 60% DB market. And so what was it on here? Um, doing very well, thank you, Dragon Enforcer. Just going through and restocking things on at the moment. Checking all our... That's below minimum price. So let's have a look at Ember Silk. Where's it gone down to? So it's got bound down to a more reasonable 9 gold. So I'm okay with that. So I'm going to take this down to 20% of DB market in my group. That will be fine. Um, it's still a good profit. Um, so we'll do that. Sell Ember Silk. Group operations. Change the settings of that one. And we'll take that down. We'll take this manually, actually. Let's go with 8 gold manually for that. And then the other one, sell Ember Silk, must be here somewhere. 50 times 4, 200. I'm going to change that to 8 gold. We're having to um, redo some of my groups because they are a little bit older and we'll change this to four stacks of 200. There we go. And we'll post those on. There we are. Selling a killing in glyphs. Excellent. Um, really, list, cancel scan, two quests and back, cancel, relist. Really, that's excellent. Good to know. Okay, M silk's going on. So four stacks of 200 and three stacks of 50. And Nomi's gone below minimum price, so Nomi snacks are down to 172 gold. So as they're currently free, and I'm sure people aren't really bothering with those, I'm okay with 172 gold. So let's change the group on that one. Where's Nomi snacks? Nomi snacks is there. And so we'll change this operation. Nomi Snacks 150 dB market. Let's just adjust that to be. Let's do another manual one for this. 150. No, 100 gold. I'm really okay with that. 100 gold is 100 gold. It's a lot less than that in Wildfire Legs. So we'll change that title to 100 gold. I'll edit that one. I'll post that one on. And then the musk and butter is still invalid. And I think that's because I haven't been to Dalaran. Um, seeing when I use TSM and clicking on the various buttons and lists in real time helps understand the add-on a lot. You could clip these parts for YouTube, which is really popular if you have time, of course. Um, I've done that in previous times, speaker, yes. Um, when there was a time when I did a leather working, um, new, a new set of leather working, and that was quite cool. And it's quite nice when I'm having to redo a group as well, because then I'll talk about my thinking behind it as well, which hopefully that's of use. Um, that's good to know. Um, someone's emptying out here. Excellent, Dragon Enforcer. I uh, thought you'd switch to TSM4 and give it another chance. Very buggy. Yes, Tony. Um, I think with it being so close to pre-patch just being released, there's a lot of things. Um, just before I came online, there was another TSM update. Um, so they're busy working away, trying to squash as many bugs as they can. Oh, actually, no, I need to check anything expiring before I rush off. Let's check my auctions. There's a few things here. There's a couple of sales in there. Let's take these off, down to there. Everything else can stay on. Yeah, it's not surprising really. I mean, obviously with the API being down as well, that doesn't help matters. Let's pick those one up. Then again, almost everything is. Uh, did I catch the Q&A? No, I missed it, um, Dragon Enforcer. Was there anything uh, good in it? Uh, Dulahi, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. Greetings to you as well. Let's run another post scan, get all these auctions on. Now I did do a restock earlier, so my enchant should be in a decent place. 
and chances nearly instantly on your server but there are no mats up yeah that can be the tricky part um, probably because there are no mats, uh, mats up people are um, grabbing hold of them as best they can I mean I've not looked on mine I did check earlier actually I got a good lot of um, temporal crystals um, but the prices of chaos and arcana and ley light have been fluctuating a little bit um, already missed your titan panel and carbonite oh right are those uh, user interface add-ons yeah i know a lot of people who aren't on the basic stock um do have issues with things like that it must be tricky when you're so used to one certain layout okay they mentioned a few things about the nerf dungeons and said they were fixing it um but you went into Kara at 75 and still can't kill a level 71 mob oh right that's that's a tough one that is um might be the next couple of weeks people aren't really raiding mats will be thin yeah oh right does titan panel work okay there's there's light at the end of the tunnel then maybe one of your add-ons will work um 24 gold for ley light um don't know what my average purchase price is chaos crystals is currently at 39 gold I need to change these to be my ones that I had set up which I've obviously lost now mat cost of 5 gold probably a bit cheap should probably be more like my average purchase price and the ley light um, average purchase price maybe I'll change those manually um, to average buy let's give those a go for now because that's my main source of um, them for the moment Tome of Illusions we couldn't find the Savage Blood for earlier so I'll leave those uh, so we'll go into crafting reports uh, materials and then go into enchanting and chaos crystals we're going to add in Oh, it doesn't appear to have average buy in there. I'm sure I've changed that. Average buy. F A V G buy. Um, actually, I might just leave it at average buy for now. Keep it simple. It's always good to keep it simple to start with and then build on it afterwards once you understand it or once you've got consistent resu results. Uh, I'm going to change the three main ones to average buy. Now, obviously, I don't have an average buy for some of these. Um, so what I'm going to do is just buy a couple of them now so that there's a record for those. Run a shopping scan. Um, too long didn't read um, of the update. There were just that the bug should be fixed within a few days, mainly about the dungeons. Any questions about transmogs as well? Okay. Hey, um, hello, how are you? And Macropiste, thanks for both for stopping by and truly insane. Thank you all. Uh, just watching my last pod when you know Swaz live. Did I completely restart my groups? Not completely restart them, um, did I hate, but I did lose them um, once 8.01 8 came live. And so what I had to do in order to fix TSM, for me, I had to wipe everything and then go back to my old paste bin that I had um, from 20, 26 days ago and import that in afresh. So things that were a little bit messed up for me, um, but because of that paste bin, I was able to at least get myself 90% of the way there, which is rather fortunate. Um, so we'll change this order now so we just get the the cheapest ones first and I'm gonna buy one chaos crystal and two of the ley light there so at least then TSM will register those and turn that off pick those up now when I hover over chaos crystals we should have a purchase average buy of one and a mat cost of 49.89 Laylight Shard, uh, mat cost of 24 gold, which is the Chaos Crystal divided by 2. Interesting, did I change that to average buy actually? Let me just check that. Laylight, did I miss that one out? 
Crash reports, materials, enchanting, lay, lay like shard. Uh, it should be average buy. Interesting. Okay. So that's a bit different because I would expect that to be the lay like shard to have a mat cost. Oh, it is 24.90. I tell a lie. I was looking at the chaos crystal, uh, the crafting cost there of uh, Chaos Crystal divided by 2 and thought that it automatically doubled it to get the mass mat cost, but it hadn't. It's actually from my purchase price, which is correct. Okay, good to check these things though, just to make sure. Okay, happy with that. Uh, Clatha, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. I'm doing very well, thank you very much. We're just going through all our restocking stuff at the moment. We've gone through enchanting probably worth having a look at tailoring because I haven't looked at that in a couple of days I think I missed it last time so we'll do a tailoring restock oh really this much stuff okay black mage weave is fine orange mage weave now we've got one of those in the guild bank I believe shadow weave mask is an interesting one I don't have enough shadow silk for that it's selling again, is it, Costa? So we might have to go on and do a little shadow silk farm for that. Dress shoes we need the uh, mooncloth for. Uh, Merlin's robe took me absolutely ages to sell, so I'm going to take that one off for now. It did eventually sell. And silk weave satchels are back in, uh, so that's good. So all of this is useful. Um, before we go and do the main gather on those, I'm just going to look for shadow silk for the mask and fell cloth for the moon cloth because those two are the more specialist uh, ingredients or materials rather. Let's go through and look for shadow silk. Um, apparently there's none on at all, okay. So that's interesting. And how's fell cloth looking? is down here there's only well there's three four on so that's enough to make one moon cloth robe that's okay as a price I'm gonna take that I'll need the four I'll go for that okay so here we go um, okay okay People returning for BFA and want the riddle mount. Yeah, I guess people are finishing up things now, aren't they? Uh, if anyone wants to repair their Titan panel, uh, just follow comments. Everyone wants to repair their Titan panel, just follow comments. Okay, that's good to know. You've got some uh, uh, a solution for that one. Uh, just before coming here, as everyone was also farming silk. Okay. Um, hey, Zev, how are you? Discovered my YouTube channel a few days ago. Uh, meet new gold farmers. Good luck with my five minutes. Oh, thank you very much, Zev. That's very kind of you to say so. You made over 160 from blacksmithing relics last night. And the drums is 400 each. 400 each. That's brilliant. I'm getting some really good sales on enchants at the moment. Just had two sales come in now. So that's just a demonstration of how well they're doing. Um, uh, bug grabber has a bug. What's that one for um, Phil Zoll? Um, so let's go through, if you've got those, we've got those, um, tailoring wise, okay Viper Girl, look, bro, thanks ever so much for stopping by, um, I know your timings are slightly different and difficult for you, but thanks ever so much, um, it catches any error stack traces, oh right, okay, and shows them nicely, interesting, I have to have a look at that, um, not that, I mean, I'm, I've got the TSM is the main thing that's causing bugs for me. Um, and they've got their own error reporting thing here. So I'll leave that one on its own devices. So order of the day, I wasn't quite going to plan on doing this, but because I want the shadow silk, let's go off. And we're in Stormwind as well, so it's not far away. We're going to go off and going to go get some shadow silk. So head for the big mountain in the distance and slightly to the right of it and we'll go on over we've got enough bag space for now 
what I could probably do with putting some of this in the guild bank. I've got the mobile banking, so if I do get full up, I can always pop things in. Uh, smelting and crafting enchant increase on for all tiers. Yeah, I think it's going to happen. Uh, wave, once BFA hits. Uh, mount market's going crazy on your server. Can't get enough materials. Excellent. That's good to know. Uh, some stuff going on with the Dragon Soul as well. Um, yeah, 2k from the first pull to the first pull for some reason. Raw gold. Oh, okay. Uh, drives you nuts, you can't see how much gold you got. Okay, I don't use Titan Panel, obviously. Um, so, uh, that's interesting that you do have it. Oh, they fixed Dragon Soul. Okay. So we're going ahead in here. Along with everyone else, perhaps. And up to the top. I always struggle to find the entrance here. It's so that one there, right between the two. Now, I don't know if I've updated my loot appraiser to be able to reset instances. Um, oops, I just walked into the wrong place. Let's just try... I don't think... I'm not sure whether it updated or not. Slash LA. Yeah, we don't have the interface at the moment. We'll do it old school. Don't necessarily need it. Uh, now this is a good way to test Bear Tartar, I haven't tested it since the nerf. So let's have a look and see what this is actually like in terms of real world speed, speed differences. Um, just make a macro. Yes, I did have one actually. Um, I don't think it worked though. But let's have a go. It now gives 17%. Okay, well let's... I have to have to get a sense of what that was compared to what it was before. Oh, is it 5%? Okay. Well, let's have a look. It still feels... I mean, this is obviously my first run. Oh, yeah, I see. It does feel a little bit slower. Yeah, it's not as fast as it was, is it? Because my actual enchant does better for that. My, my feather does quite good. Um, you can get the plans of Arcanite Reaper from a rare in this dungeon. Oh, interesting. I didn't know that one, Jonas to look out for. I'm not sure whether that would be in the area that I frequent, but because I don't do the whole dungeon, but I do like to go through this for the chance of the odd thing. Like there's a volcanic breastplate there for a pattern. I wonder what that is. Yeah, so you're not walking as fast as you were with Bear Tartar, so I might not end up using it so much. It was a lot faster than this before, wasn't it? That's a shame. Oh, well, we'll do what we can with it. As we've got some. Okay. Um, uh, greeting Six Moon. It's in my area, is it? Okay. I'll keep an eye out for that. And that last one. There we go. So we've got four Shadow Silk there. Oh, there was something I missed there. There we go. Do you, and then you. A venom splitter. Do that one. That was... No, that was thick spider silk. Another shadow silk there, and another shadow silk there. How many have I got now, shadow silk wise? Seven so far. Let's finish this off, run up the top and round. That looks new. That campfire up there, I don't remember that seeing that. Uh, I think you loaded something you shouldn't have. Uh, have no chat, no action bar, no minimap. Oh, okay, that doesn't sound quite as, uh, as useful. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a little speed boost compared to my standard walking. But not as good as it was, unfortunately. Got to love the Adam Farming. Okay, I've not used that one before. Um, hey, Grungy. Yes, we are. Um, we need to make a Shadow Weave Mask, so it's worth popping on for now. So we're going to go and get ourselves some Shadow Silk. Um, probably enough to make two masks if we can. And hopefully get some nice loot as well, but we never know exactly. 
I'm getting some rune cloth anyway, if nothing else. It's actually easier to use my feather more than it is to use bear tartar. So I'm going to have to use that on cooldown rather than the bear tartar. Interestingly. Plate of the Shaman King. This looks different, actually, the stuff that's coming up. I wonder if they've just changed the interface, the way that works. I am. Hey, Herthus, how are you? Uh, use your Demon Hunter, faster run at the end. Oh, right, okay, my Demon Hunter's... He seems quite slow for a Demon Hunter. I don't think I've really maxed out his stats when it comes to... Uh, to running, but obviously now with no bear tartar, that does make it difficult. The the plus side though, we do have cloth scavenging on Samadan, so we do get a little bit extra rune cloth. And we do have the feather at least, so there is some movement bust. Bust? Movement buff. Hey brain manager, how are you? Nearly ran off the edge there. Not that I think you can. Okay, we'll run through this and reset it and do another another run as well. After this one. Oh, yeah. Those interested uh, in getting 100 exalted achievements, it's now possible to get exalted with two factions in Desolus. Oh. I didn't know about the two factions in Desolus. Okay. That was one. We had seven shadow silk. So we need eight per mask. So. Oh, right. How much you earned and how much time? That's pretty handy. Uh, there's me. There's uh, reset all instances. Do it that. And go back in. Accountant's really nice add-on. Okay, so that's just on its own. Um, Till today you thought it was only possible to get friendly. Ah, oh, right. Really did the law master for that area. You can't, you can't get it. I just did, did that. Um, and your tune has no rep bars on them at all. Oh, okay. I know I'm hated with some of the uh, factions from questing down in Stranglethorn Vale right at the beginning of uh, vanilla and stuff like hated with the is it the blood sale buccaneers or one of those so you get an average gold per hour well that is useful to have let's get everyone in here do those I'm just going to run past these you know And then just go from these ones. Uh, you did Lawnmaster, finished several months ago. No loot at all. Oh, they got some there. Okay, let's run up. And let's see if we can get some more Shadow Silk out of this lot. What have you got? Thick Spiders, two Shadow Silk. Another Shadow Silk. Arachnophel's Great Cloak. Uh, John Crichton, thank you very much for the follow. Very kind of you. And another Shadow Silk. Yeah. Uh, use macro to reset all instances faster than traditional ways. Copy and paste this. Script reset instances brackets. Now I think I've got that macro. I did do one similar. Whilst you've got it on screen, let me just check my syntax. Um, there we go. Reset instances. Now I don't have the capitalization, um, and I don't have the colon on the end. So maybe I need to put that on and see if that works. I'll try the capitaliza capitalization as well because that's nicer to read. Let's try that. Thank you for that. Um, let's pop that down there. 
Um, save, exit. There we go. Um, hey, Bob, how are you? Doing very well, thank you very much. Just running through getting ourselves some shadow silk. Um, hoping they push it out uh, so those who completed it uh, will get it. Okay. Or a GM can give uh, rep for those that can't complete it. Oh, right. At least they've got a solution. That's always good to know. So I just sold Enchant Cloak Binding of Strength. I'm having trouble uh, reposting cloaks on because of my Bloods of Sargeras situation. That's two rings critical strike just sold. So that's also good. Now, I thought those would normally be on patrol, but they look weird just standing there. I wonder if they've changed that. So I'm going to actually dodge through these where I would normally be scooping them up. It's slower without the bear tartar. So I'm going to just run through. I know I'm missing out on potential loot with these though. It is good to loot. That's how I got my Skull Flame Shield and my other thing from here. Nexus Reaver, I think. Was it Nexus Reaver? Orb of Deception, that was it. I got an Orb of Deception from here and I got a Skull Flame Shield from here. Doing okay? Excellent. Get the feather over the bridge, and then we can do these ones. Yeah, it's a shame about Bear Tartar. I really did enjoy running around with that. Um, am I still selling food, or is food gone? Um, I've sold a few things, actually. Um, it's not completely dead. I hadn't posted any on, and I haven't restocked in a while, because um, I had to redo my groups. But I am getting some sales. I don't know what um, I don't know what lavish feasts are doing at the moment, but the odd bits and pieces are still selling. And let's run on out and try the reset instances. I'm going for 16 shadow silk. So how many have I got so far? Let's wait for this to load up. Anyone using Garrison Mission Manager can also fix it. Okay, there's something in the comments for that. Oh, that would be very useful, um, of course. I could do with that one. Um, okay, Shadow Silk. We are at 15, actually. There we go. Uh, critical Strike. Okay, let's try this reset instance. There we go. Excellent. Thank you very much. That macro worked. So it was the colon at the end that I was missing. Collect up that, run around here. Jump off the side. Jump down the bottom. So I'll loot these up. Get a thorium lockbox out of it. Let's pick those up. Get, oh, the fire protection, that's no good to me. Got loads of those already. <laughs> Not quite truly insane. Um, you're going to get so many tickets on this. On um, which one, right run to? Hey, Quintus, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. And hi, right one too, how are you? Thanks for stopping by as well. There we go. One more Shadow Silk. So that's taken us to our 16, I believe. Yeah, we've got 16 Shadow Silk. Oh, the rep stuff. Okay. I might as well finish this off with the spiders and then our Hearthstone out. Those smolder webs, I am just going to destroy because they're no use to me, really. I have plenty of those pets. Might as well see if I can get any more 
spider silk out of this lot. Iron web and a mantle. Okay. So we ended up with 17 shadow silk. Okay, so let's half back. Um, hmm. Now I was going to go to Dalaran first. So let's do that. Because I want to um, just check on the vendor. Um, just to see if there's anything that going to the vendor will help me um, with that invalid price on my musk and butter. Uh, good evening, Wanta Pork. How are you? Okay, on to this. And go check on Nomi. And we'll check on the price of ingredients. Just going to see if this makes a difference. Wildfowl eggs. Let's create all. There we go. That's done. And we'll just check this. So... Galapena pepper, musk and butter. Now we've got a vendor buy price. Maybe that will work. Oh, Wally Wolf, thank you ever so much for the donation. It's really kind of you. Let's see some uh, chef's hats in there. Thank you very much indeed for your support. Um, doing good. Um, What's good frost weave farm? Because um, you've been making okay good on uh, frost weave bags. Oh yes, you posted that on my Discord, didn't you? I posted a couple of links and someone else posted a Sharken video um, for frost weave. So there's a number of options there. If you pop into my Discord, have a look there. Usually run halls of lightning. Ah, okay. Um, there we go, scroll through. Not sure if it's happening to anyone else using TSM4. You can't use the restart option on Sniper. It locks up every time. Okay, I haven't used um, Sniper myself. Well, I've tried to use it, but um, I think my, my settings are all wrong again. And I don't have any um, auction house data, really, that's reliable. So I'm kind of avoided it myself, for the moment at least. I'm right, going to pop inside here, whilst I'm here. Then we can check for Bloods missions, see if there's any nice ones. Because bloods means good things. Uh, your TSM3 is not working either. The gather function in your blacksmith craft group not working after patch. Oh, sorry to hear that. I know there were some issues with TSM3 as well. Ah, there we go. Six bloods. That's very useful. Uh, now this is resources instead of uh, gold. And there's another bloods mission there. So I think I'm going to go for bloods. Um, what do you do? I need to get my garrison miss mission manager fixed so I can sort this out, but um, let's try that and that, no, oh no, let's try that again, try you, you're 113, and you 200%, there we go, 1200 for you, thank you very much, and then Order hall resources would be good. So what would we actually get for this? That's interesting. You you gain it costs you four hundred and you gain three nine five. So you have to make sure that you're at two hundred percent. Otherwise it's not worth doing. Let's see if we can do that with three. You should be able to. Not with you. What about you? There we go, two hundred percent. Let's try that, see how that comes out. There we are. Okay. Um, TSM crafting is bugged. Okay. TSM is not working on value items. Okay. So I think we've got problems with three and four at the moment. Hey, uh, Joker Gamer, how are you? Uh, I think we've got everything one else we wanted here. We picked up our Awakening Essence, but we haven't spent it yet, actually. Yours is working fine. Ah, oh, excellent. Well, I guess um, the thing I meant really with that was also the um, auction house data not working. I mean, my TSM is working, so there is that. So you're on 3.6.45, okay. Right, so done that, done that. Let's check the world quests. Have we got any bloods? There's a single one. 
which is locate Murky's egg. Okay, I'm going to ignore that one because that's going to be a, a pain. So we'll leave that. We'll head to my garrison instead. Yeah. Uh, TSM Accounting and Shopping has new updates. Hope it fixes your problems. Okay, hopefully. Hopefully, fingers crossed for you, Quintus. Uh, ah, good evening, Jack. How are you? Not so much greedy here, but very much enjoying the profits. I'm going to avoid that until I've got my mission manager uh, fixed. So let's just head round and do the usual collect up resources. I did this recently, so there's not much to do. And we'll just pick up our work orders. Um, and we'll go to this. Uh, you're new to gold farming. Um, have any tips? Um, find something you enjoy doing, um, Joker Gamer, whether it's farming or, um, or, or raiding or anything, really, uh, whether it's running dungeons. Um, I wouldn't advise... Um, I wouldn't advise being able to finish a sentence. Uh, I wouldn't advise Transmog as your first market um, and and go from there. And the, the, the key thing to making gold is not spending it. That's the big one. Okay, we're out of Sumptuous Fur as well, so mental note, we need to do a Sumptuous Fur farm. Uh, work orders. Uh, we're nearly out of Drainic Dust, so need to make sure we buy some of that. Another mental note. So many squirrels at the moment. Okay, let's head on back to Booty Bay, and I'll catch up on chat. Um, how's the gold looking? Not had a chance to check in on the stream in a couple of weeks. Um, it's not so bad. You click on egg and become murky, then you can exit the vehicle murky, and just go kill the bobs as well. Oh, I didn't realise you could do that. Um, that's useful to know, truly insane. Um, the profession part, uh, and so it's working. The queue gathering, TSM crafting isn't ready. Accounting's a problem. Updated to fix the LUA again. And TSM shopping can no longer be tagged. Okay, so that's that's a bit of a pain, isn't it? Um, here's a little tip for people that find it hard to use TSM now with the API problem. Focus on DB market, DB region, region market average, and historical price. The DB market's based on 30 days of data. Yeah. And so it's gonna it's gonna start getting more and more out of whack. Might be other updates, but those are what you're over. Oh, thanks for the info though, Sol Maestro. Um, that depends on how much uh, time you play. If you play as much as I do, Transmog is really good. You've got 1.5 million value on your first day, and you sell 50 to 150k of a day. Oh, that's that's uh, that's a good point, Clather. Actually, once you've got the quantity, then you can uh, actually make some sales. And it also depends on your server as well. I know my particular server isn't a great one for it, but others can be, especially the more higher populated ones. Uh, Kunmo, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. Uh, a couple of extra ones here. Hidden Satyr and Glorious Stats. We'll take those. 4,000 gold. And then... Okay, we can do our tailoring restocks, first and foremost. Then we can clear out some of this. And then we can move on to another character. So, tailoring. We had all this stuff to make. Oh, I forgot to go and do the Mooncloth Robe. Okay, um, that's worth doing because it sells for quite a lot. Um, which way round shall I do it? Um, I could get use the cape potentially, or has that been? No, that's on a timer as well. Okay, let's do everything but the cloak. There we go. How goes it today? Going all right, thank you very much. Um, the biggest problem is you don't know what to farm. Um, Start with something that you think um, is in high supply or in high demand. Um, something like if you've got mining, you could go uh, get some ghost iron. Um, herbalism, you could... What's a good herbalism one to get? I don't really know about herbalism in terms of uh, selling it. I usually use it myself. Um, and as Jack said, uh, why farm as well? There's also other things to do. Um, Cata Herbs is good. Yes, Clatter, that's a good point. Thank you for reminding. Um, Heart Blossom in particular sells quite well um, for me if I was going to sell it, but I tend to use it. Um, so let's go through, gather this lot. So let's try the task list on this, see how it manages. 
So there's our big list. Now, I'm sure I hid these before. It looks like TSM's not remembering me hiding things. Because I don't want those. And I don't want those. Uh, the others I would do. Um, so we're going to open up our guild bank. Move this down to the bottom, I think. And then get from guild blank. Bank? Blank? Get bank. There we go. Got the right teeth in. Right, collect all that up. Um, see some servers still going off and on. Okay, still problems with the servers as well, is it right one too? Uh, deep home is best at the moment. Um, as you use the fire water, um, you make 45k an hour. Okay, Clatter, that's, that's good to know. That's something that I might pop over with my um, herbalist and do. Right, it's still trying to get stuff, I think. The bolts of rune cloth. They're there. There we go, I'll do it for you. Okay, so what are we missing? Well, it says coarse thread. We need more. So we need to buy some stuff from the vendor. Um, also, from here, I'm sure I had some more orange shirts, but maybe I haven't. Okay. Don't have them. I thought I had some. Okay, rune thread, coarse thread, red dye, orange dye, heavy silken thread. Let's see if we can find ourselves a friendly tailor. Which I'm sure there is one over here somewhere. Just sold another critical strike. Um, new patch on US. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, 45k is definitely useful. Um... The little vid on Wowhead explains uh, why. Okay. Uh, Juggernaut, thank you ever so much for the follow. Now, tailoring, 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 tailoring is... That's the tannery. There it is. Tailor. Tailoring supplies. Yo. Now, where's our task list? Buy from vendor. Um, okay, rune thread. It says we've got 97 in the guild vault. Okay. This isn't quite working hey, as intended. Right, let's close this down. Refresh this. And then we're going to go back to our guild bank and uh, fix things up. Good evening, Juggernaut. How are you? Thanks ever so much for the follow. Welcome on board. We are currently trying to restock our tailoring at the moment. Okay, there's fixing glitches and things, okay. So, on storm scale, and Whiptail is 52 gold each, uh, Storm Vines 30, Heart Blossoms 26, and Cinder Bloom 76. Um, yeah, that's some good prices there, definitely. Um, I think Shadow Song itself has some pretty high ones as well. While you wait for servers, uh, might as well get some of Jack's picks ready. <laughs> okay, right, one, two. Um, trying to figure out what's selling since pre-patch. Uh, not very successful yet, though. I can tell you enchants are selling quite a lot. Um, guild bank. Right, let's go through this. So, let's bring back up tailoring. Have a look. Okay, so you're saying orange dye and red dye we don't have any of. I've got orange dye here. I got red dye here. Coarse thread. Um, I've got silken thread. Um, there's coarse thread. So that's in. Heavy silken thread is. That's silken. Where's heavy? There. We have that too. Uh, the fell cloth we've got, but we need a moon well. The rune thread we have here. There it is. And thick leather and sorcerous earth. Don't know if I got any thick leather. No. Thick leather, we need to get that from the auction house. And sorcerous earth. I reckon we've got some of that. Fire, water, and air. Okay, we don't have the earth. Okay, let's go to the auction house for those. Oh, and sold a hidden satyr as well. Um, okay, what do we got? 
Enchanter was next one you're going to restock. Good to know. Uh, hey, Marsbur, how are you? Currently, we're just working on restocking our tailoring at the moment. Um, the TSM task list wasn't quite working as intended, so it wasn't finding my stuff in the guild bank. And we have got a couple of things here we do need to look for, though. So we're going to do this manually. Sorceros, if I can spell. Uh, okay, three gold. Um, region market average is eight gold. So we'll use that as our guide or we'll buy some of that. Um, don't have any, so we're going to stock up a little bit on this. Um, just take those. And then the other thing we want is thick leather, which we probably have got some somewhere. But it's not telling me anyone's got some, so let's have a look on the auction house for that. Uh, none there. Okay. So whatever needs that, we'll have to miss as well. Um, how to know if uh, Biz messed up? Long lost, uh, no longer available items start popping up in trade for like 2% of the region price. Yep, that's a, that's a good good sign of it. Um, hey, Winflakes, how are you? Been busy the last couple of days. How am I uh, tracking for my mount? Not doing. Well, we're doing okay. We're not quite in the point where we're making enough gold each day. I need to make 65,000 each day now to catch up. Um, um, have my treads in the bank uh, would make it easier. Yes, Wave. I've got uh, quite a lot of stuff in my bank already, mainly from cooking and stuff like that. Um, so my reagent bank is quite full as it is. Oh, that's where the orange shirts were. I knew I had them somewhere. The orange made weave shirt. We've got one here. So I'm not going to make one of those. Take that one off, off the list. But yes, putting stuff in the reagent bank is useful. We've got a bit of free space now, so I have got some stuff in there, but I haven't got everything else. And so maybe the spare I'll put in there, and that will help me out. It's a good idea. Um, heavy leather uh, times five is thick. Okay, thank you, Costa. Um, just trying to. Uh, and trying to catch up. Okay. Um, hey, uh, Cham Chamanita, how are you? It's going all right. Thank you very much. So far. Thank you, Jack, for the chat. Oh, I'm way behind on chat. Look at this. Oh, sorry. I'm going to have to catch up on everything. Oh, I do apologize, everyone. Okay. Um, you made 50,000 gold, mostly on selling. Um, 100 years soy sauce. Interesting. Um, Excellent, that's good to know you got it fixed, Costa. Let's just catch up on this quickly. I'm not going to burn my gold, and it's still not happy having my pieces removed. Um, let's try selling it. Uh, very easy to get. Okay, I'll have to look into that one. Um, other might have the same question, but. Uh, the question's about. I'm uh, not making that one to mine. Okay, what did I miss there further up? Okay, right, okay, caught up on chat. Right, here we go. So the things we've got here is red linen shirt, red linen vest, black maid weave vest. The main one's the moon cloth robe I really want to do. If I take that off and the hex weave bag, oh, we need more sorcerous earth. Let's pick that up from the bank. The bank? The uh, mail mailbox, that's it. There we go. Right, that's done. Black Mage Weave. Uh, Hex Weave we should be able to do now. Yep, that's gone green. So let's update on that one. The, the thingy that gives you gold. <laughs> there we go. We can make a Shadow Weave Mask, which is going to be useful. Uh, dress shoes, we need the thick leather for. That was the one. Uh, so I'll leave that off for now. Probably not worth restocking just yet. I'm just going to do the major ones at the moment. And the silk weave satchels. Um, we've got lots of shoulder eye silk. So we'll do those. Uh, how much have we got? 1,200. So I'll make those. 
But that should, in theory, be an 18,000 profit. Although I'm not sure if that's updated everything that we took off, like the Mooncloth Row, which in itself is quite a lot of profit. So I'm going to guess that it's going to be less than that. These are all the enchants that have sold in the last hour. So enchants are doing well. We're going to have to restock on those. And I haven't even swapped over to any other characters yet. Let's run a post scan. Let's move this back over here. Also, hey, it's close to it. Yeah, it is. Um, One million in the past 36 hours. Got to love pre patch. Excellent, Soul Maestro. Congratulations. Also, hey, they broke the World Quest Group Finder too. Uh, the idea to bring people together and how it is in Ghostlands everywhere. Yeah. Um, I like the group finder. It's a, it's a shame that one's gone for the moment. So, Shadowy Mask is going on for 4,000. Hexy Bags for 2,000. Everything else is looking okay to me. So, let's pop those on. These aren't massive sellers. So, the main profits that that 18,000 was saying is probably down to the... Um, the Mooncloth robe, which we need. Oh, you can still use the group finds, you just can't make group group for it. Um, you can still see the groups. Aha, right. Okay. Um, you have it set on to average DB market, DB market, so those prices don't fluctuate that much. This is true. So it is useful from that sense. Right, let's go for... Um, oh yes, I see what you mean now. Yes, now I've caught up with you. Delete. So the profits isn't always a... Uh, I've got lots of these. So I'm just going to delete them. I was going to release them, but that's too many button presses. So we'll go with that. And these recipes, we've probably got loads of those already. So I'm going to... Oh, that's a new one on me though. Polished Hessenite. That's Cataclysm Jewel Crafting. And that one's Volcanic Breastplate. I'm sure I've got that one already. Um, hey, hi, Soka. How are you? I uh, just grabbed 283 stacks of silk for 76 silver each. Very nice. Uh, got your work cut out vendoring soon. Yeah, truly insane. I'm going to make lots of pants with that. Um, so the profit won't be 200 one day and 400 the other day. Yeah, that's that's the thing, isn't it? Um, yeah, that reminds me I could do it looking at silk whilst I'm here. Uh, shadow silk. Uh, Shaldor. I always forget which uh, way the hyphen goes. Shall. Is it there? Yes, it is that. Oh, yeah, here we go. There's some for 95 silver. There's loads for under under a gold. I shall do the same. I shall buy this up. Some stacks of 200 there as well. One, two, 99. And the other two. There we go. Okay. Craft, craft the pantaloons and vendor them, yeah. So what's the um Yeah, I've got the uh I've got the rank three pantaloons on my tailoring. So if we go over to my tailoring and have a look at this. So you go to the um silk weave pantaloons, rank three. Uh they vendor for 40 gold and cost 16 shoulder eye silk. So if you're buying it for one gold or thereabouts, that's gonna cost you 16 gold. And you vendor it for 40. So you could buy. How much of this could you buy? Crafting that will be a fall asleep pick. Yes, right one too. Uh, it'll take a while to do. To 2 gold 42. Okay, thank you, Costa, for the, for the number. That's lots. That's a lot. I mean. Look at all these stacks of 200. 16, 2, 1. I 
So up to 243 was the exact, uh, 150 for the mats. Okay, so I would say anything, I'm not going to do the whole, whole lot. It's free gold, it also just takes time, that's the thing. So let's take a load. Let's take a load of the cheap ones. You made over 250 already just doing pantaloons on an alt. Yeah, this is something that I should probably do AFK, isn't it? Well, not technically AFK, but... But up to 120 you double your gold. In which case, doubling gold... Why wouldn't you? Only fill up your bags, exactly. There's that one for 50 up there that's just asking to be bought. Let's take that. There we go. Uh, pantaloons is another word for trousers, or if you're American, pants. It's like uh, pirate baggy trousers. So we're going to buy, buy, buy all of this dumps of uh, silk weave. Okay, struggled with that one. Okay, let's get some more going. Uh, just catching up there, updating it. You also have shirtaloons. <laughs> um, is there a quick way to get two tokens worth before BFA? Mm, two tokens, are you NA or um, EU? That would be another factor. Um, okay, looks like we're struggling here, so let's just do another search for that. Actually do a reload. Struggling with all of that. EU, so how much is it all? Is it all? Um, and by catgut and um, the sharp thingies. Yeah, I need to get a load of those. Um, okay, shall. There we are. Same boat, you need three. Turn gold turn to the gold community to get uh, better informed. Okay, rude mood. Um, let's say, how much are we going to? It was 150 or 130, I was, I was thinking. Um, how many have we bought already? We're at 1,900. 1,000 in the mail. So, let's go on. We'll just buy up these ones. Go up to those 13 of 200 at 175. Quantity wise is good. And then we'll go up to the uh, 200 at 195. Or even the 2 gold, there's 8 of 200 there. Let's do that. That'll be our mark. Uh, so the token's worth uh, 340,000. Uh, so that would take me at my at a slowish rate, uh, on average, something like a month to get. Um, I could probably get more quicker than that, actually. I could probably do that in two months, and that's mainly with cooking, enchanting, and tailoring, just casually selling, not like dedicated. Everything's gone a bit crazy at the moment. Uh, still struggling there, so let's try that again. Do another search. The eight of 200, let's go for these single ones. Take that one, and then we'll take the two of 200. And then I'm going to take the 13, and we're done. Okay. That's a lot of silk. Okay. Uh, do you have a druid? That's a good uh, suggestion. Um, you could try searching for it. Oh, oh I didn't realize you could put the slash one gold 50. That's a good one to uh, remember, Soul Maestro. Thank you. Um, well, primal volatile farms are on Flimit. Primals look very good in your realm. I'm going to assume you barely, barely gold star with. Skip that as well. Okay, Escort. Thanks for the suggestions. Uh, so every silk below 244 will give profit on rank 3 pants. Okay. You said that, yes, didn't you? You did, Kilpster. You did indeed. Which pants exactly? We are making the silk weave pantaloons. So we bought all that Shalderai silk. Um, if I look in my bags, ooh, my bags need cleaning up. Um, 
Where's a shelter I sell? Okay, let's just look back on the auction house. That's the quickest and easiest way just to get a tool tip up. Um, so we have um, 7,000. We have 6,600 in the mail. So 6,600 um, with an average purchase price which it's not registering at the moment because we haven't opened them up yet. That had the info on it? Of course, uh, truly insane. Uh, Binding Mastery is just sold. Um, so 6,600 divided by 16 gives me that many pantaloons. Um, and then times that by 20 gold profit which is probably my minimum profit or at least 15 gold profit that would be about the kind of profit I do but obviously then <laughs> let's craft pants <laughs> excuse me <coughs> coughing here yes what we need to do though first is clean my bags out because we're halfway through doing a load of stuff and I crafted some things. Did they go on? No, I'm not sure they did. We also haven't made our mooncloth robe yet. So let's just dump a few bits and pieces. Hey, bad Tory, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. Uh, reagent bank, we got some free space. So as Wave suggested, let's get some of these things in like the rune thread, the heavy silken thread of course there's the threads are useful to keep in here the same as the dies because we'll access them straight from there and the rune cloth and the mage weave let's do those I'm gonna sell your own you don't need them <laughs> uh, now I've only got one slot of free space so I'm gonna go for sorceress earth in there did that actually update? Um, let's try something else that w didn't go in there. Um, what else would I want to put in? Let's try some musk and butter. No, that goes in. Okay. I've got a load of stuff there. If you craft epic pants, you get more gold. Even better. What's the sale rate on the epic ones? So let's just clear out this bag for a moment. So let's get this. So 54. 54 gold, excellent. Thank you, uh, Faye, Costa, and Soul Maestro. Doing very well, thank you, uh, Beware. We are currently, we just bought an absolute load of silkweed cloth. So what we're doing now is we're just clearing our bags and we're gonna see if we can double our gold by vendoring pants pantaloons to be precise um, that's why you told me last week to get the silk weave you did indeed you did indeed and then look how much we've got today pro crate is about 10 to 15 percent did I miss something there oh proc rate there we go I misread it there you go uh, when I popped on early, yes, you did say that. Um, I got a few before, but I uh, at a cheap price then, but I didn't get enough. Um, so that's all needs to go on. We need to make a group for those, all those power bits and pieces. I want to sell those. Um, a keystone for dark heart thicket, mythic level two. Interesting. Um, how much gold did I have in the mail today? It was about thirty-five thousand. Uh, jewelry. Let's have a look at this. Oh, those are the smolder web eyes. Let's get rid of those. <laughs> nice one, right one too. Consumables, honey mint tea we can get rid of. And then we've got some things here. Let's just change the new items off and get rid of those. And then look everything in the consumables, it'll be easier. You have waiting, you're doing the buying now. Your wife's gonna kill me and ask her to help me craft that. <laughs> that is a lot of silk weave, uh, truly insane. So I did I spend fifteen thousand on silk? Quite possibly. I didn't check what my money was beforehand. Um, 
Can we vendor these? No sell price. Immature venom sack. Okay, so let's just destroy those then. It's not going to be much use to me really. I've got so much of it. I need the space. Yeah. You have that with a tome of tranquil mind. Um, what have we got here? That's soulbound. We'll vendor that. That's uh, soulbound. We'll vendor that. That. Uh, you know what? I'm going to just vendor these because it's more convenient. And this one. I know I could disenchant these for a greater value, but for now, it's just as good for me to just get rid of those. So actually, look at that vendor sell price of 62 for a Venom Spitter. We don't have a TSM Auction House uh, price for that though, so maybe that's actually worth something. Oh, it's soul bound. No, it's not. Can't sell it. Just spotted that. Uh, that's worth something though. 2,000 on my server from one day ago. Region is 1,400, so that's within my realms, but 345 is quite low. So I'm actually going to vendor that. And that one has a good disenchant value. Bone inlaid sarcophagus key. That's worth selling. I'll try that one. And that one's got a good region. I'll try... Uh, I think I might have already have one of those. And those I know won't sell, so I'm going to vendor those. But that one I'm going to try. And that one I'm going to try. And this lot I'm going to pop in the guild bank. Not sure what I'm doing with these uh, carnelians and stuff. Let's pop them in a group. Post those on. And the rest of this can go in the guild vault. Mystery meat we can get rid of. Tender wolf meat we can get rid of. Red wolf meat. Fire. Slice of bacon. Right, okay. Organising all this. I've missed out loads of chats. Let me just chat up on that. Um... Um, you can only make 900 at a time more paper does not fit in the bag so you have to buy more paper if you spend 1.5 on average on the cloth it gives you about 22,000 uh, profit thank you so much um, leather and storm scale at 1.5 gold each gives about 15k um, with a rank pre shoulder craft hmm I'm not sure whether I have that um, so I'll have a look at that later. Let's head on to that. So you walk every 50 minutes to the PC and then you go and do it. Yeah. Right, okay. So it looks like we're not going to do much else other than crafting in a minute. But I want to clear everything off first, which means I need to reorganize my groups. So working backwards from everything that I need to do. Updating my groups. Old world region average. Ignore random enchants. We want to put on... Uh, we'll put these into here actually now uh, all these these things because um, I think it's just going to be easier just to try and sell them at a um, at a basic price um, high mall relic I don't have that that all these gems which I'm not sure I need that's going to add all of those in and then the pattern going to put in recipes and patterns turn off that and put that in and then we'll do a reload so that TSM registers that um, the problem is rank 3 from the leather one is a PvP reward aha yeah that's going to be an issue for some probably myself included because uh, Earthen hasn't done any PvP there we go Oh, did I miss a pattern? Okay, thank you, uh, Myth. Very observant of you. Let me just pop all this lot on, and then I'll go through and catch the missing one. So these are all going on for some prices. If they sell, then great. If they don't, then that's fine too. And that leaves me with... There we go, there's the pattern you mentioned. Um, and then there's a couple of things here the carnelians is that because I had too many in my bag I'd need to up the amount of those now I need to put them in a different group um, 
which will probably be um, the other one that I had. Mass cell, old world food and potions. Something like that has a group operation. Something like 48 hours mass cell. Um, stick that down to 50% or something like that. So we'll go in and we'll just change our groups a little bit. And we'll take out those um, carnelians and things, those gems. That one, see if I can spot them amongst everything else. The stuff that I had multiple ones of. I'm just going to take them all off anyway. Um, it'll be easier just to take them off and put them in a different group because this is kind of like a bit of a mess. Just looking at the icons, really. Um, looking at the bottom. Um, ocean, sapphire, things like that. This needs clearing out, definitely. But um, at the moment, this is just a case of me making use of a little bit of a mess and then I'll clear all this out properly a bit later. Remove those and then we'll put them into the old world food and potions. That one, that one, that one, that one. Add those in and then we'll go down to the recipes and patterns and add that one in. And the netherweb spider silk does sometimes sell. So I'm going to put that in the mass one as well. There we go. Right. That's done. Okay. Um, Storm scale, rank 3 battle bounds folders, stone high leather, rank 3 war high shoulder guards. Buy all up to 243. They also craft bags. Try to keep 25 in stock. They sell for 350. Uh, but you keep this shelter eye silk off the market. Aha. Uh -huh. um, what's the reason to use region DB market instead of DB market? Um, because it fluctuates less um, and it's not as easy to inflate the prices and particularly at the moment as the um, the uh, the auction house uh, API is down so we're going to be kind of um, stuck a little bit. Um, so prices are best kind of um, averaged out as best you can so for these these sort of things I'm literally just throwing them on anyway um, so I'm not too concerned about the pricing of them but for other things I'd look at them a bit more carefully and start taking some averages I might even use something like as Jack was saying earlier to use historical as well um, just to try and average it all out Okay, don't want to miss this um, or be careful for a little while I'm posting stuff. Certain costs are a bit high. Uh, in terms of like the auction house costs, okay. Historical, um, I can't remember Jack, what did you say? Was it last 60 days? It was something like that, wasn't it? Yeah, I have to keep an eye on the prices, definitely. Um, what I'm just doing at the moment is just undercutting or posting a current um, price and we'll see how things go for here. A lot of these things I wouldn't um, mind too much um, depending on how they sell um, but yes um, posting costs is something that doesn't appear in TSM which could actually scupper me so I do have to watch out for that. And did I miss anything else? Oh that was uh, Dragon Force you were telling me again. Uh, there we go. The DB market is 14 days weighted, so that's going to get worse and worse as um, minimum price is invalid. Okay, uh, shadow silk shouldn't shouldn't have been going on though. So we'll leave that. Oh, actually no, I probably did want to go on, um, but we're not going to put that on. Not for that price anyway. So we're going to put the rest of this in the guild vault. You requested that feature the other day, the posting cost. Yes, truly insane. I think it's a really good one. Um, I know I myself have been caught out by that from time to time. 
So let's just put on some of these in the guild bank. Um, fractured I'll keep, and the regular ones I'll keep. Um, actually, I want to keep the chaoses themselves, in fact. It's the other things I want to pop in there. Uh, tailoring can have the rune cloth and the fell cloth. Oh, no, actually, no, I want to keep the fell cloth because that's going to go into our... Um, we'll do the spirit dust. We've got lots of that. I'll condense that one down. I'll keep some of this because we use this for our mysterious essence. And our lock boxes can go in here. And then we're missing that um, high mall antiquity. Um, ooh, I don't know what to do with that one. I might just leave it in here for now. Oh no, it's soul bound. Okay, we'll pop that in the bank perhaps. And what's this one? Imperial silk, that's soul bound also. So let's go pop these in the bank into the root. That can go in there. And then the reagent bank is full, but we can fit in that and that. Any room for the fell cloth? No. Any room for the shadow silk? Yes. I oh, actually do have some shadow silk in here. We've got 12. Okay, so that's worth knowing. Chaos crystal we can put in. And the same with the temporal crystals. And then the ley lights we'll put in as well. The fractures we need to make up. So let's just go through and do those. Um, I'll leave the ember silk there actually. Okay, right, there we go. 14 days um, DB market, every other historical price source is 60. Okay. You were told by a mythic plus streamer he uses Draenic invisibility potions for getting past stuff, so it might be good to sell. Okay, interesting, uh, William Gnome, good to know. Um, uh, you could recoup if you use the method Shara pointed out with po putting the cost in your string. Uh, yes, uh, I know Shara's strings are very, very comprehensive, so they do counter for things like that. I'll have to look into that. Hey, Captain E, doing very well, thank you very much. Sales have been uh, doing very well, I think. Um, we're just about to make a whole load of um, silk weave pants, um, which is going to be for. We bought the silk weave for less than two gold so we're going to well less than two gold 50 and so we should be able to turn it into um a profit by vendoring it but we need to go to dalaran to pick up some more well let's get some of the silk actually um let's just get yeah let's get that lot first see how many pants we can make to start with because that's a lot of silk Let's have a look at that. There we go. Um, you should work on getting inscriptionist. I make a lot of gold off glyphs from that. Yeah. So we're vendoring them because you basically cost 16 gold to make them and you vendor them for less. Um, we'll just see how many we can make with our existing bits. Ah, good evening, Perkin. Um, how are you? How much gold am I away from my target? Well, I had 30,000. Um, in the mail. Um, I have spent some gold, so I need to factor that in. I'm not sure exactly how much I have spent. Um, so, silk weave pantaloons, we are missing on the sharp sprite thorn. Sharp sprite thorn. There we go. Um, Hisoka, thank you very much for the follow. So, let's go off to. That's a, um, a Dalaran one. I have to get that one from. So, let's go off and get that. And then we can start making these pants and vendoring them. So we should make about, what was it you calculated, Salt Maestro, about 15,000 gold profit? Which will help. Obviously this takes time to do. So you do need to factor in the fact that we're going to spend a lot of time making pants. But then, you know, you could be doing other things whilst you're crafting. Um, Where's my orientation? There it is. And tailor, where is a tailor? Um, go down this side, two down, past the first aid. Yeah, that's interesting. There's a first aid shop now, but that's now part of tailoring, isn't it? First aid supplies is now part of uh, tailoring, so it's got its own shop. 
Uh, so if you keep crafting and vendoring, uh, about 22,000 per hour profit. Ah, right. So if you keep doing it. Yes, it is next door. I was just interested because the... Um, I got spotted by a squirrel. <laughs> right, where is it? Sharp Sprite Thorn. So let's buy 200 for now. And how much have we. What else did we need for the pants? Was it the Runic Cat Gut? Let's bring it back up. Pantaloons needed. Uh, Sharp Sprite Thorn and Runic Cat Gut. Okay, so we need to get a bit more of that. We need two of those. We need double that. So I'm going to get um, runic cat gap. Um, we need 400, so I'm going to get 350. No, 348. Yes, please. So that should be enough to make. Let's have a look. Um, 200 pantaloons according to that, and how quickly do they make? That's not bad. Now it's a shame. Can I vent them as I make them? <laughs> My, you're a tall one. And let's change that to TSM. And then go to the bag here and vent them as we make them. Oh, then it interrupts. Okay. I thought that would be too good to be true. So, vendoring all of these for 40 gold. Uh, let's change this, actually. It's going to be easier to change it to armor. Oh, this is going to be tricky, actually. You've got to watch the um, timing of your post, of your clicking. Okay. Right, that seems to be working. So let's switch to the standard. Make another load. Silky pantaloons, create all. So I'll just let that go for the moment. So there's not really a lot else we can do at the same time. Ah, you made a vendor group for the pants. Good thinking, Jack. I haven't used the vendor groups. I need to keep the infirmary for all the poor travellers getting hurt. <laughs> That's a good point, yeah. Um, maybe use the stack option in Abbey bags. Uh, I can talk. Yes, this is true. Um, yeah. Um, I don't know if would Abbey bags stack all of these up. Stack the same items. Let's have a look. Um, filters. Items. Merge stackable. Merge unstackable. Show only one stack of items uh, that cannot be stacked. So if we did that and close. Okay, because we've got different variations of them, they're all coming in anyway, so that's probably not as useful. So we'll turn that. Close that down. There we go. You could make about. 1,320 an hour while keeping notes on your rare procs in a spreadsheet. That's what your numbers are based on. Craft more per hour and cheaper to make more profit. Okay. How's Dottie doing? Dottie's okay. I'm ticking along. Um, she hasn't done much squawking at the moment. Hasn't laid many eggs either. Uh, to sell them on go. Yeah, it's worth a try though, speakers. Good, good suggestion. I'm going to do what Jack has uh, suggested though. We're going to make a vendor group of this. So what we'll do is we'll make a group, we'll stick it in our tailoring, we'll add the group and we'll call this um, cell pantaloons and then if we ignore random enchants we should just have silk weave pantaloons. We'll add that in. And then we'll give that a group operation. Miss your chicken sometimes. Uh, used to bolt up to me and say hello every time you walked outside. Yeah, they're they're amazing creatures. Very much um, underrated. I love the way they just talk to me. Um, 
So we'll make. I've never made a vendoring operation. Um, so let's create a new one. Um, now it doesn't seem to have come in, so we might have to do a reload on that. So I'll have to make, wait until I've made all of these, and then I'll go and do a reload, and we'll have a look at that operation and see what we can do about it. So that's a whole load of silkweave pantaloons, all selling for 40 gold. There we go. Is that everything? Yeah. Okay, so let's escape out of that, do a reload, and then go back to our group and see what the vendoring group work works like. Um, let's have a look. So, okay, we're not going to destroy them. We're going to... Although, what would we get for a silkweed pantaloon? For a ley light shard, for most of those, plus the chance of bloods, um, ley light shards at the moment are worth only about 10 gold, they're not really, I mean sometimes they go up for more, but you'd have to, they'd have to be worth more than 40 gold really. So I think it's better to keep on with this. So this new operation, we're going to call this uh, sell pantaloons for vendoring. So enable buying, um, you don't need to buy them, no sell options keep some minimum expires okay yes if you just jump pantaloons not the way to go exactly because uh, braces are better and you need less mats you only need nine um, for braces and you need 16 for the pantaloons very good point um, market value Maximum market value, enter naught to disable, destroy value, maximum destroy value, sell soul bound. Okay, I'm not sure how this works, so let's try that and see if it works. You just have to put the pants in the group uh, with random enchant enabled. Okay, is that it? That's all you need to do. Okay, thank you, Jack. Okay, so let's look at. Where have we got? Uh, it's all the way down here somewhere. Um, tailoring cell pantaloons. It's got silky pantaloons in it. Group operation is cell pantaloons. Um, so let's try this. Go onto that. Go to TSM4. And then cell. Where's the groups? Here's a group. Cell pantaloons cell groups. Did anything happen? I just sold two binding of hastes. Hmm. Okay. Click is only one minute max. Um, okay, do a reload. Another reload. Okay, let's try that. Right. Try it again. Uh, you just decided to use uh, the cell junk add-on as you normally do. Add the pantaloons and junk cell. Okay, right one too. That's another option. Um, we're just having a look, and because I've never used the vendor group, it's always good to learn something new. Uh, so let's try that selected. Cell groups doesn't appear to be working. Um, we did put them in. Tailoring cell pantaloons. Hmm. Okay. Are you having trouble with loot appraisers spamming your chat when you uh, loot stop, reset new session? Um, I've not got um, it working at all, um, Clatha. What's that? Ah, oh, Silky Satchel's just sold. Ah, oh, for you it's working. Okay. Hey, Commander Bond, how are you? Is this project because the price of Silkweave is cheap or because the price of pantaloons change? It's because the price of Silkweave was cheap, um, Commander Bond. We managed to get loads here for um, less than 2 gold 50. So we're, most of it was about, um, what was it, um, one gold fifty. 
so it was really cheap so we should be doubling our profits here by vendoring it for 40 gold at least the problem is we're just checking on um, this cell groups for the pantaloons doesn't seem to be quite working as intended so let's try something else let's just go down to sell pantaloons I wonder if we just add in all the regular ones as well to give TSM a bit more room to work with I know it should work they did have the vendoring sell pantaloons we'll edit that and we'll call it um, Vendor, so it's not got the same name that might be causing a problem as well. Keep quantity is zero, uh, minimum expires 20, market value. I wonder if, what would market value do? That's for buying though, isn't it? Uh, min maximum destroy, value destroy, maximum destroy by sell, sell bound. Hmm, yeah, okay. Let's try that again, see if that works. This is all testing, so... Nope. Doesn't seem to be wanting that. Okay, so what if we were to use this and change that to silk weave? and sell all there we go there's an option did that work? there we go, we've got something working um, minimum expire set to zero you think, okay um, only thing needed there, enable vendor set keep to zero, assign operation to the group not to the group of of the crafts and it should work hmm change that to pantaloons not silk weave yes good point uh, Trillian saying there we are problem solving skills <laughs> yeah exactly it might have ended my raw mats so this is the thing there's a good thing about TSM or anything in that in life there's always another way of doing something so we're gonna go through this one and try it this way there we are, right, okay. And we sold a binding of haste, which is good. So, back to the tailoring. Let's try that again. Uh, to the group. You changed nothing in the operation and it worked for you. Okay, Jack, interesting. Um, so, to the group of the crafts, not to the group of the mats. Change that. Only thing uh, needed there. Enable vendor set keep to zero. Assign operation to the group, not the group of the crafts. Not the groups of the crafts. Not the groups of the mats. Yes. Um, what's the price of binding of haste on my server? Um, binding of haste is quite low, actually. Um, I'm not sure if this is accurate now. Obviously, because it's saying a negative profit here on binding of haste. Actually, no, 533. Um, it's saying a thousand here based on yesterday's prices. Um, but I'm not sure exactly. I mean, my average sell over the last day actually has been a thousand. So, yeah, it's probably about a thousand for the binding of haste. Looking at that. Let's swap back over to tailoring. Let's make another load. Okay, switch to the WoW user interface. Sorry if this is going a little bit slow at the moment. I'm just getting myself up to speed with the process. So we're learning as we go, which is always a good thing. Right, let's run that through. Oh, just sold something else. What was that? That was Hidden Satyr. It's just sold. Let's leave that there. And then I can see the bar at the bottom. Um, only here for minutes and already love the stream and chat input, seriously. Oh, that's very nice of you to say so, uh, Juggernaut. Really kind of you. 
That's how we like to keep it here, is basically chill and helpful are the two main um, keywords that we'd, we like to think about. And it's all learning at the moment because this is all new for a lot of people because um, you know everything's changed with the pre-patch. <laughs> maybe Jack, maybe indeed. Um, today you sold about um, 20 binding pace for 1500 to 1400. Now someone's undercutting you 12 to 100. Um, I know it happens. It happens. There's not a lot you can do about it really. That's why you tune in almost every stream. Oh, very kind of you to say so, uh, Grungy. Um, basically, just made for the leather working craft of Ender Flip. Craft of Ender Flips. Ah, oh, thank you, Soul Maestro, for that. Uh, Joker Gamer, thank you uh, very much for the follow. Okay, we're making. We've got a few um, epics in here as well, which is going to be useful. Um, how are we doing on bag space? To keep an eye on that. I've still got plenty. So this is just basically my first lot, and then I'll um, once I've used up all this sprite thorn, and then I can. All, I'm right next to the vendor, so I can do that as well. So that's going to be good as well. Um, I don't know how much gold I started with, but what we will do is at the end of the stream do a gold tally and that will include all my mailing, all my purchases, um, and then we can see where we land on the gold tally as a total. My daily total, my daily guide is um, 65,000 a day. If I can, if I can make 65,000 a day profit, then that sets me in good stead for um, getting them out in the next month. Uh, what would happen if Bob Ross and David Carradine had a child played well? <laughs> That's an interesting mix. Extremely chill and monk-like. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, struggling through the changes like everyone. Yep. I think we all are definitely Commander Bond. Um, are we still making them? We seem to have paused. Let's go back to the regular user interface. Aha, we've run out of the uh, Runic Cat Gut. Not the Runic Cat Gut, the uh, Pantaloons, both of these. Sharp Sprite Thorn and the Runic Cat Gut. Okay, so let's sell the ones we've got. Salutations. And change this to... And uh, looms and just spam sell all. There we go. So happy you got Titan Panel work. Excellent, Gossip. Very good. Very glad you got it. Got it working. Okay, so we need to go buy. Um, let's buy another. What do we need? Let's do. 400 again yes for that and yes to that so there we go and then we can make some more pantaloons another 145 create all um, there was something in the comments someone posted earlier Sold for 65k now. Excellent. Excellent. Very nice. Um, it was the um, the shoulders, I think, Jack. And it returns at least your gold, which is the main thing you wanted it for, wasn't it? So we can make another 130 with that. Uh, with the silk we've got. Um, so we've got 2,000 in our bags. So I'm going to go for all of this, I think. Tally of gold on all characters, excellent. Very good. Um, um, move word state always. Oh, okay, that was the line you do. The profit per pantaloon, if I bought them for about one gold fifty, is about twenty gold profit. Uh, 
so that's fine in my books. My average purchase price is 1 gold 81 for the Shalderai Silk. Uh, Stormscale Battlebound Spaulders for Leather uh, Warhide Shoulder Guard. There we are. Thank you, uh, Sol Maestro. Both our shoulders. Yes, they're, they're the equivalent Stormscale and... What's the other one? Um, Stormscale and... Hide something. Oh, my memory's going going today. I'm forgetting everything. How are we doing for bag space? Still got space. There we go, let's leave that running. Are there similar recipes for other professions? Um Stone Hide Leather, thank you so much too. Um But you need to do PvP to get rank three. Yeah. That's that's the slight catch. But I think after this, people are going to stop dumping their silk on for so cheap. Oh, it's from World Quest. Yes, you were looking at that earlier, weren't you? Okay, another 77 pantaloons to go, and then we'll sell those. Yeah, um, Irfan hasn't finished off some of his recipes, so he could really do with getting the, um, the rank 3. I remember the, the Silkweave stuff was World Quest mainly, and then the Imbued stuff was a bit more questing and things, which I never bothered with in the end. Um, what am I shuffling the silk into? I'm making Silkweave Pantaloons, Fuggerduck. Because we bought the Shalderai silk for an average of 1 gold 81, and it takes 16 Shalderai silk to make one pantaloon, and you can sell the pantaloons for at least 40 gold. Um, more if it's an epic, you can sell it for 54 gold. So it's basically raw gold profit doubling your doubling your money, depending on how many you make um, or how, ma how much silk weave you can buy. I was lucky enough to buy 6,000 Shalder Eye Silk, so that's enough to make a decent amount. Yeah, if I was going to disenchant them, I would make uh, braces and sell the Leylight, or use the Leylight to make something else. But this one's really good because it's a, a raw farm in terms of um, we're selling straight to the vendor. Um, so I don't have to wait for any auction house sales, which has a great amount of appeal at the moment. So we're going to go back to this. Now we're going to do another search. Pantaloon. Too many O's. And then we'll spam sell all. These are going for either 40 gold or 54 gold. Like that. And then we're going to make the last lot, which is another 36. So that shouldn't take me too long. Uh, Stormscale max price is 2 gold 32, and leather uh, 2 gold 36. So is that for breaking even, Soul Maestro? Because I'd want to go a little bit less than that to uh, to make it worth my while. But at least that gives you a ceiling to work towards. So for me, I'd probably go like two gold for each of those. Storm scale and the uh, leather. How easy is it to win a battleground? I have no idea, Jack. It's been a while, that's for sure. That's already round down to the nearest silver, okay. Hey Tabsor, how are you? Long time no see indeed. How have you been? We're currently um, making silky pantaloons and selling them back to the vendor and doubling our money. Yes, Soul Maestro has already said they're world quests. Um, gold making's doing doing well at the moment we've had some good days um, especially with pre-patch um, bringing lots of players back to the uh, auction house and things are getting sold we're currently um, where are we sat at gold wise uh, 3,278,000 so when I put this into the chart it's going to be interesting uh, we're just going to search for Pantaloon there we go spam sell all 
There we are. And the break-even price on the silk was about two gold fifty, I think, uh, more ball. I was I went for anything under two gold myself. Um, one gold fifty was kind of like the sweet point. So there we go. We've done all of those. Um, we could probably sell some of those back, some of those sprite thorns back. But I'm going to keep them because we might do this shuffle again. There we go. Oh, you just heard the best news in the Q and A. What was that, Costa? Uh, Two forty-three is the top. Okay. Uh, by the way, uh, Scorcher will return home tomorrow. Scorcher. Pardon my ignorance, uh, Dragon Informers. Who's Scorcher? Um, not getting bonus XP after a dungeon is a bug. Ah, right. Um, thanks. Got a bunch today at 1 gold 85 yourself. Excellent mobile. Congratulations. Okay, so we did that lot. Um, oh, score sheet, score, score Shane. Um, score Shane in WoW is the person you stalk. Ah, okay. Is is it it's Score Shane? A A I N. Yes, I know who you're talking about now. Um. So, where are we at? We did that, we did that, which is good. We didn't check the price of the other things, but I'm pretty sure I haven't got the rank 3 on those. Um, whilst we're here, actually, and I've got the fell cloth, um, I'm going to pop down... Where am I? I'm in the wrong place. I'm going to pop down to... Oh, I'm definitely in the wrong place. Where am I? I've got them right the way round. Okay, where did I start? Round here. There's the guild vault. Go round here. I've just flown round in circles. <laughs> Do apologise. There we go. If you're getting dizzy, I'm going to go to Stormwind and we're going to go down to my Mooncloth spot. I'm going to make some... Um... Alright, I'm assuming that one. Yes, Costa, mining's an option. What I'd really like to do with El Morte, though which is going to be uh, interesting, is, uh, oops, running through a wall, <laughs> is I'm going to dump blacksmithing, and I'm going to make use of the new uh, Battle for Azeroth mechanics for alchemy, and I'm going to try and go straight in for Pandarian alchemy, so I don't have to do any of the previous stuff, apparently, so I should be able to go straight in and um, just get the alchemy so I can do Transmute Master on El Morte. So that way um, I can do all the all the alchemy and smelting on one character because mailing between the two is just getting too inconvenient. Um, so I think that's going to be much better. Uh, that'll be true for blacksmithing as well. Yeah, any of the professions now, uh, Speaker. So... Uh, as I'd only gotten up to like 49 on blacksmithing, so it wasn't particularly high. Um, so I'm, I'm happy to ditch that for now. I haven't really got, got far enough into it for me to be too concerned. You know, looted the actual XP boost at the end was not meant to be weekly, but once per day. Aha, right. Well, whatever it is, XP boosts are good. Oh, you meant the low dungeons. Okay, I, I'm not. I haven't seen the um, thing, so I don't actually know. Um, did I go to the right place? Normally, I see a gap there. Um, how much gold am I up to now? We are currently at three million two hundred and seventy-nine thousand. So we should be able to make our moon cloth. Uh, let's just change our have materials. What have we got? Um, moon cloth. Only enough for two moon cloth. Oh, we needed more than that. Okay. We needed eight. Dang it. Okay, well, let's create the two that we can. 
and we'll have to go back. I don't think there was any more fell cloth on the auction house, so we'll have to leave this, unfortunately. That's a shame. I should have checked up on that. Uh, dual gathering on my druid then, or inscribe instead of alchemy. I, as I've leveled alchemy up to 800, I'm keen to keep it. Um, and I'm going to go and change to elixir master, as I've got the herb gathering as well. Doing Miss Pandera's skilling for your new alchemist is fine. I uh, do recommend get the others later uh, as well, like true gold and titanium um, transmuting. Yes, I, I reckon so, Jack. Um, it'll be nice to go back and do them because I'd like to complete the set at least. Um, so is it worth... Yeah, let's just half back from here, I think. There we go. Watch the Q&A today. They talked about pre-patch issues first. Yeah, basically just trying to tell people it's all right, we're going to fix it. Everything is fine. Hey Thori Nori, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. We are just we've spent this entire session all on Samadan so far. I haven't even checked any of my other characters. Uh, if we thought about this earlier, it would have been way easier and faster. Yes, Jack. Um, I mean, Costa was suggesting uh, I get towards the Draenor level as well, because um, it would have been even better then um, to level up. Um, you did go right out to Kara after his Q&A, and you're 75 Shadow Priests, and got owned on a solo pull, um, although it was a wee bit slower than yesterday. Okay. Um, you're having fun with uh, arena skirmishes. Excellent, Thorinori. Costa, I think you need to push him more. <laughs> As you were saying, Kassel, we just need to be more organised, I think. I am uh, I do struggle with my organisation. Oh, we still have some Shalder Eye Silk. Uh, those were the singles, weren't they? Um, let's pick up these sales, because these have happened whilst on stream. So let's take that. That's another 8,500, as well as more silk. Run through all of that. And then we've got some more mail to pick up, so let's do a reload on that. Okay, more pants. <laughs> um, am I going to dump the bear tartar? I'm. Oh, it's such a shame. I've got about 500 of it left, um, so I've I've not lost any money on all that bear tartar that I bought because I sold it for way more than that. But um, yeah, it's uh, that's all silk, isn't it? Yeah, let's open that up. They're all singles, so that's not too bad. There we go. Good that the mail's so fast, though. More work. Off I go, then. What is it? Better style is still useful. Yeah, it's, I mean, I just used it on um, on my Shadow Silk farm when I went and run that, and it is significantly slower. Um, so much so that I was using my feather more than the bear tartar. So it is sad times uh, that it's not around now. Uh, that's all of those. That's another load of silk. I should be alright for bag space on these because they're all singles and so they're stacking up quite nicely. Let's reload another lot. Um, need to do one night of Warcraft 3. Yeah, I can't remember how to play it. Um, Blizzard doesn't want us to have fun. I mean, for Urfan. What was that for? Um, oh, bank space for Urfan. Yes, I guess um, having less of it in the bank would be useful, yes. Um, can it run on my PC? I imagine it probably will do. Um, didn't they update it so that it can run now? Um, what else? Got more silk, more singles. Yeah. Let's take all those and then see what the last reload is after this. Okay, do another reload. Um, what was that one? Uh, you had fun the wrong way. No, I don't know that meme, Tabzil. Um, it's whether you can't change gear anymore in Mythics. Ah. Right, okay. Oh, and there's a whole load of silk here. Okay. Open all that up. So this silk has an average buy price of 1 gold 68. Um, and we've got another thousand of it. Okay, so 
what we'll do is we'll step out of the way a little bit, go back to our tailoring, go to the regular one, and we shall make some more pantaloons, another 55 of them. Let that run. Now I'm getting somewhere. Yeah, I reckon so, after all of this. Um, do you want my silk prices? I was very lucky to get so much at this price, definitely. Um, it was just by chance, really, because uh, because you mentioned it. It was like, oh yes, well, let's go check it. And Costa has mentioned it before. And anything Costa mentions is worth listening to. Oh, it's still six there, yeah. Uh, you only got like three and a half thousand. Still decent. Very, very good. Three and a half thousand is good. Sooner or later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, can you do anything similar with cheap stone hide leather? Yes, you can, Pulsar. Um, you, Solmeister was just say, talking about it. You can make the shoulders if you've got the rank three shoulders for both Graven Scale and the. Um, what was that? And it's about two gold thirty threshold. Hidden satyr sale. There we go. Yeah, the spolders. So the graven scale and the warhide spolders. If you've got the rank three for those on your leather worker. We just saw some drums. Excellent. Are drums is the maze tower still up now? I I don't know. Is it are people still doing the maze tower or is it gone now? It's gone, okay. First in 30 hours, right, okay. No, it's gone, okay. So, that time that time was done. Same as the Ember Silk, although the Ember Silk is now still at 9 gold on my server. So, yeah, I bet it surprised you. Maybe some people have forgotten. Or they're using it for something else. Um, looks like it's the Runic Catgut we're going to run out of first. So we still have some silk in our bags. Um... So we'll vendor this lot. Uh, let's bring my mount up. We can go back to Dalaran. So that might be worth doing. Um, uh, TSM vendoring. Uh, turn my bags off. Move this back over. Search for pantaloon. Too many O's. Sell all of that. There we go. You've been seeing some decent drum sales as well, Commander Barn. Excellent. And your albino cave fish finally selling. Excellent. Are they using it in Mythic as well? Uh, okay, so I'm going back up the chat. Missing that. Hey, uh, Kmart, how are you? Uh, mission's going very well at the moment. We're in Booty Bay at the moment. Actually, one of the first times uh, you're getting some profits, decent gold making opportunities. Excellent, Juggernaut. Uh, usually, mission will come late due to work or bad luck. Not like the weekend, but more than you uh, had thought would happen. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it's good to get I some, at least. Oh, you're red. Thank you very much for the follow. Um, let's go exit the thing, and then we're going to go over here. Just going to double check on Shalderai Silk. See if there's anyone's put any more on. Um, yes, they have. Another two of 200 at 194. See, I left this one as an offering to the Auction House Gods, and it seems to have worked out. So I'm going to put those on and keep those. So this one, at least if anyone automatically undercuts, they're going to be putting it on at 196 or less. So that's worth leaving on there. Um, there's no point in me looking at the other ones. Auction-wise, we've got a couple of satchels have sold and um, some more enchants have sold. I'm going to have to restock on those ones. So I'm going to do that whilst I'm here. Uh, open up my bags, just collect up the silk that we've got, and then we're going to be able to buy 15 Spirit of Harmony. Excellent! I haven't bought any Spirit of Harmony in a long time. Um, so let's just check our enchanting restocks. Uh, did we actually check the auction house? Let's check that again just to make sure. There we go. So TSM knows. And then we can have a look and go on to our enchanting groups. Restocks, chanting, restock. Okay, so let's take off that and the soul fibril and the cloaks. Um, oh, actually, we do have some bloods. 
So let's look at what we can make with those. Um, the rest is... What do we need for those? Mysterious Essence. Um, we have seven. We need seven of the Bloods. We need a lot of Arcana. And we actually need some more Chaos Crystals as well. We just need three Mysterious Essence though. So let's do those first. Uh, take off the filter. Oh, we had taken that off. Uh, where's my... There it is. One, two, three. Create those. Um... Nice as you sold four living steel today as well. Excellent. TSM destroys not working for you. Okay. It destroys one then gives up. Ah, right. Um, that's a shame. I haven't used TSM destroy yet, so I can't replicate it here for you yet. Now let's do that. We might as well do the lay shatter for the Arcana as we've got so much lay light. And we bought it for a fair enough price. So let's do create all and then keep an eye on the Arcana here. Uh, no, hey, Nixu, um, is there a way to get TSM to recognize all jade legs as the same product regardless of the suffix? Yes, there's a button or a little toggle, depending on which version you're on, that's called Ignore Random Enchants. Um, you have to do a reload afterwards, but that one should do it. Um, I can show you um, once I've done this Arcana Uh, you put TSM destroy in a macro and put that under one. Okay, so that the and just do one click, one click. All right, interesting way around of doing it. Or well, fast salute, it breaks TSM destroy completely if you reload until you reload. Okay, so that could be an issue definitely. Yes, it's uh, basically, I can do it whilst I'm doing this actually. Uh, we go in here, and when you go into a group, and you add something into a group, there's, in TSM4 it's here, ignore random enchants, and then that will, um, you click that, and then you add things into the group, and it will just do the, the, the main thing without the, um, without the suffix, and that should get you, get you on that one. And then you have to do a reload afterwards. No problem, Nixu. Uh, to fix destroying, just uh, manually disenchant one. Oh, just one, is it, uh, Samsel? Okay, interesting one. I hadn't thought of that workaround. Any news on the API? It's still down, yeah. That's what Norris said. Unintended downtime this time, so hopefully they're going to be in, um, incentivized to fix it. It would be nice. So it could be down the entire week. Hopefully not. Hopefully not. But they obviously have got their eyes on doing other fixes at the moment. Um, I need 125 Chaos Crystals, which is a lot. Um, I'm not sure what the price is at the moment. So let's have a look. Oh, Neeks, thank you very much for the follow. Very kind of you. So anything under 50 gold will do me for now. Um, the price is rising on Chaos Crystals. I bought a load earlier and didn't think I'd use up as many as this, but um, we're definitely going through. Um, 3.2 million? I'm getting close. Um, invest in some battle pets or something to flip. Interesting idea came up. Um, for me, battle pets move extremely slowly on Shadow Song, and I would find that um, the battle pets would just be still in my auction house by the time BFA came out. Um, they just don't move that fast. Um, I'm going to buy... I'm going to buy a good load of these because I need quite a lot. Well, it's a good idea um, using your money to reinvest it into something else. Um, it's just something like pets and transmogs I wouldn't personally do because um, I don't know how quickly they'll sell. So I'm sticking with the small chunk sales and um, and hoping for the um, the quicker sales to give me consistent money. So obviously this is taking my gold down again but I know that I will sell these in chance and this is going to give me profit for tomorrow. So so it's invest today for tomorrow's uh, sales. 
because I need to make 65,000 every day. So I need to keep going. There's another mark of the claw sold. So let's open up all of this. Do another couple of reloads on that. Um, Corian farm with ten, with ten people is OP. Ah, how does the um, how does it work with ten people, Clatha? Do you all make a raid and then look for the Corium and then one person finds it and then you all go down to the one place? I think I remember reading up on it at one point, uh, and I heard that was how it was done. Just sold a pet for fifty k. Excellent! Congratulations, Thorinori. Throw some chef's hats in. Congratulations. Uh, so yeah, that is how it works. Okay, thank you, Clatha. Um, open up all of these. Uh, Isle of Thunder is still good for Spirit of Harmony. Um, I, well, that's what I tried last time. Um, hopefully. Hey, Garhammer, how are you? How's the pre-patch so far? Um... I've not actually played much, but I have selling enchants like nobody's business, so I'm really happy. We are making gold, so that's the main thing. There's another one that's just sold and come through. So how much chaos crystals have I got now? That is 145, so we're going to use up all of these probably. Although not all of them, because some of these we don't have enough bloods for. So let's bring that back and go to the crafting. So we'll make glorious stats. Uh, ignore this estimated profit. That's not correct. Um, we're going to make all the necks and the rings. And then we'll decide which cloaks are going to be the most profitable. And we'll do those. Hidden Sato is selling really well at the moment. I keep on selling it. I think it's a good profit at the moment as well. Let's have a look. Um, let's pop it onto the auction house. Um, my auctions. Hidden Sato, 1,800 and... 95 it's crafting cost of 895 so it's a near a thousand profit on those so that's worth doing so let's get another load on critical strikes is much less um crafting costs well it says 59 gold for a critical strike i'm not sure it's quite that cheap uh binding of haste why would that be different um, oh, that's the uh, the ring, isn't it? Oh, that's because it's a gift. Okay, that makes sense. Yes, it would be that. Uh, interface action failed because of an add-on. That's an interesting one. Okay, well, let's post these on. Probably need to do a reload. So let's look at the cloaks. Uh, binding of strength, agility, and intellect. Um, if we do shopping and do a shopping scan of the cloaks then we can have a look and see what price they all are actually at the moment so obviously the agility ones are over inflated at the moment so we can set our own price on those strengths the next best one so if i was to use my bloods here i would use it on agility first uh, looks like we might have to do a reload though so agility then strength, remember that. Ten K with the first three minutes, excellent. Okay, let's try that again, that's done. And back to enchanting. And then we're gonna make three of these if we can. Uh, we need two for each so we should have enough to make all three and then we'll run out of the rest because then we've got only one I think for this I don't think we can make another strength no so clear the queue so if we can set our price on these let's have a look what the posting price w would be uh, so 1700 
we can sell them for higher than that I'm pretty sure so let's manually change this let's change it to 3700 and change that to 3600 that's a reasonable price for that kind of enchant so we'll post that on three Hidden Satyr costs 2500 to make and sells to 2800 on your server. Wow. Okay, so there's there's tight profits in there. Still a profit, though, um, but not a lot. Um, the, the trick there is getting that crafting cost down. Um, it depends on your, your prices for, obviously, your Chaos, your Ley Light, and everything. Okay, so we need to go to Dalaran to finish off these. Um, oh, I need to check if there's any more fell cloth. I didn't think there was, um, but just have a quick look. Um, let's do it. fell cloth slash exact. That will be better. Yeah, chaos is still really high. I guess if you've got any, um, yeah, there's no fell cloth. Okay, so that's out. The moon cloth robe's out at the moment. I'm not going to go farm it because you don't get many drops. So, off to Dalaran again to get the last of the um, things you need. Uh, hey, Cozy Sal, how are you? Uh, does it not become uncomfortable sitting on the floor after a time? I tend to stream for about sort of two to three hours, and in that time, it's no, it's fine. I take the odd break to get some more water, um, and I move my legs around, and um, it's really comfortable. I mean, I do um, suffer with a bad back from time to time, so it is nice to not have to. Uh, have any pain. Um, right, uh, there we go, down here, get my bearings. Inside we go, tailoring supplies. So, we got the sharp sprite thorn, um, but we didn't have the runic cat gut. Oh, just sold another uh, silk weave satchel. Um, Oh, thank you, Cozy Cell, for the follow. Very kind of you. First, first stream you see on the floor. Yes, it's it is pretty rare, I must say. Aha, we have two hundred in the guild vault. That's where it is. That's why it wasn't accessible. I could have gone off and gotten that if I'd looked a bit more carefully before flying off. Okay, so guild vault is here, and then we're going to go pick up our runic cat gut which is in our tailoring section. We could do is sorting this out, actually. Let's just give that a quick sort. And then I'll go get some water. We'll be back in a minute. You saw one at one of those standing desks the other night. The other night, oh yes, um, I believe uh, Buana does uh, has a standing desk. I've seen him use that from time to time. It's all right. That's all organised. That one could do with a little bit of a sort. The rest are all okay. Okay. So here we go. Isn't there a guild bank perk allowing you to summon it to you? Yes, the um, the chest you can do. Where is it? Uh, spellbook and abilities you can do mobile banking and do that once every hour but as it was just around the corner for this one it was easy enough to do um, so tailoring and we'll go to the regular one and we'll make another 39 pantaloons uh, shame BFA is soon uh, sales have been outstanding yeah and sales are going to get even even better, I think, uh, hindsight, once BFA is out. Oh, uh, did I miss something? Uh, there we go. Um, but you're still excited for it? Yeah, definitely. Uh, the add-on that sorts the guild bank is called uh, Sushi Sort. Um, if I, I've got a command for it, I think. 
think it's that one. Uh, no, it's not that one. Is it called Sort? There we go. Sushi Sort. And that's the add-on I use for uh, sorting in my gill bank. Really, really handy. Oh no, Jack, you're all, all out of pantaloons. I'm about to be out too. Um, just got my last 15 to make. Yes, mine, as Costa would say, mine has always been a mess for a long, long time. I only recently sorted it out. Uh, as I do with cooking as well, um, I know that Lavish is a, gives a plus 19 now. Don't know how well the new Captain Platters will buff. So Lavish might still be a good seller. Oh, okay, that's good to know, Dragon. Um, hey, uh, bother me, how are you? Took five reloads to get chat working. Ah, there we go. Well, welcome. Thanks for coming by, um, Baron. Good to see you. Uh, why so many pantaloons, hindsight? Because we're going to sell them for um, for raw profit. So the silk we've been buying for an average of one gold 70, um, which is 16 of them, so it costs about 20 gold to make all of this. And then we're going to sell, vendor sell them for uh, no, more, more than seven, uh, 20 gold, probably more like 25 gold. Um, and we're gonna vendor sell them for 40 gold. So we're making a profit on every one. And let's find someone to sell it to. Um, over here we'll do. So we'll go here, TSM, search bags for Pantaloo, and then sell those. Um, how late are you to the show? You've been spending the last hours on remaking all your groups and operations again, because your entire drive got corrupted. Oh no! Sorry to hear that um, bother me, but uh, hopefully they'll all be working nicely for you. Um, you are quite late to the show, I must say. I am going to wrap things up relatively soon. Um, does reputation give you a better sell price? Um, or it only affects buy price? Um, I don't know, actually. I've uh, been live for two and a half hours. Only the buy price, is it? Okay, thank you, Jack. I didn't know either way for that one. Right, so that's that, that's that. Um, we put the enchants on. So that's most of the things. You can use the backup on TSM even if you are free. Yes, you should make local backups. Yeah, definitely. Um, but the, the synced backups um, are for the premium members, I think. Um, uh, not for all vendors. Okay. Well, thank you, Bodomi, anyway. Um, good sales today. Um, well, I would say the Silk Weaves was a good bonus. Um, 35,000 in the mailbox at the beginning. So we've had some steady sales throughout. Enchants have been selling very well throughout. So all in all, I think it's been pretty good. We haven't even checked on my other characters. I've literally done everything on Samadan today. So I'm going to have to check my other characters another time, I think. Pants for the win. Exactly, Jack. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to half back and have a look at um, the chart and we'll put in our numbers for today and see if we've hit our 65,000 target. Made a lot on Ember Silk as well, had so much of it, surprised you managed to sell it all before pre-patch. Excellent, glad you managed to get on on those sales, they were amazing. And you'll play on the second highest pop realm so that explains it. Well that's pretty good. Uh, app always makes backups, but premium gets theirs synced to TSM servers. Our freeze only have a local backup, so that's exactly right, Sol Maestro. Okay, one last check of the mailbox. Okay, and let's just check the auction house to see... Ah, oh, rude move, thank you very much for the follow. What have we got coming in? We have... Another 8,700 coming in. We'll save that for tomorrow. So we'll leave that for now. So we'll just take the gold we've got in our bags and we'll have a look and see what we ended up with. Now we did buy a bit of a surplus of Chaos Crystals. So those have got to be factored in. Um, we did buy quite a lot of materials as well. Um, kind of regret not having premium. Yeah. Um, 
that is one of the advantages, um, as well as supporting the uh, TSM team, of course. Um, so, where's my chart? It's Jack's very kindly linked to it. Um, I don't actually have it up. Hold on. Or have I got it somewhere else? No. There it is. Let's, let me just load it up. Close that off. Close that off. So I didn't actually get to do what I was planning on doing today. Um, Frank Kitty, thank you very much for the uh, follow. Very kind of you. So those who haven't seen my chart, uh, this is my chart. Uh, once it's loaded up, let's pop it across. Okay, we've lost the... Uh, we lost the head. Let's just make that a bit bigger. There we are. Okay, so today, 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 right down here. Um, where's my gold? There it is. So let's move that across so I can put it in. And then we are at three million two hundred and eighty-four thousand. 812. So, did we make our target today? Well, let's do a little. Um, where's my uh, data tools sum? Where's the sum tools? I can't remember how to use this now. Um, let's just type it in here. Let's do sum. Does it work as a sum? Uh, B66 66 minus B65 it's something like that All right what is the sum there it is sum equals we need missed the equals put the equals there press enter so 44000 we made i could have done that mentally but um, so it's not actually um, enough today and we didn't make enough yesterday so that was when I started doing this so yesterday we made 45,000 so that means we're actually 40,000 off off target without the head the mounts cheaper <laughs> that's true um, already at 3 million, yep, yeah, but we still got a long road to go and not much time left. So, um, insert function sum. Okay, thank you, uh, Costa. Make more pants, yeah, I think I'll need to. So, whilst these are healthy numbers, let's look back at the chart. Um, and, the, and we're going up, which is good. Um, we don't have long left, so we need to really up our game a little bit more. Um, the thing I was limited to by at the end of today was um, time. I haven't had time to go over to my other characters. I haven't had time to go and do everything else. But I think what we did do was was good. Um, and we've set a load of enchants ready for tomorrow. So we should hopefully get some good sales with those. Um, I'm not on tomorrow, but I'll check my auctions and make sure everything's uh, relisted. And then if I get a bit more time, I'll check through my other characters and put those on so <laughs> not not with terms of service uh, hindsight um, but thank you all for hanging out in the stream tonight your company has been most welcome so thank you all uh, let's see if we can find someone to host uh, lots of people on tonight uh, let's have a look Okay, who have we got? Um, ah, Sharkin's back. I haven't seen Sharkin in a while. He's finished his break, so uh, let's go host Sharkin. Welcome him back to streaming. He's had about a week off, so it's good to see him back. Ah, Slippery Fish, thank you ever so much for the follow. Okay. Hey, there we go. Right, so. <laughs> right okay there we go wait for that to load up there we go all right thank you everyone um i'm not scheduled to be back on until sunday so if i don't see you before then have a lovely weekend and uh good luck on your sales hopefully pre-patch treats you well 
and I shall see you all very soon. Until then, happy cold making, and let's send some love over to Sharkin.